Hello everybody, so I'm going to be reviewing a game that I just won, and I really don't think I should have won because I really suck at this game these days, but anyways, I am playing against Papatokes, uh, yeah, the Zerg player, so I'm just going to see a little bit of what he's doing initially, and I just want to see, like, did I win because he's not very good, you know, stuff like that, so... First thing we're looking for, we're seeing, okay, what is he doing? <laughs> yeah, you're the master with the hotkeys. Check drone, check overlord, check drone, check overlord, check drone, check overlord, check hatchery. Yeah. Okay, so, so far we're pretty much equal on this whole uh, income tab. He's keeping up pretty well. And, okay. I don't know why he was doing that weird stuff with the drone, but either way, not really a big deal. Uh, where's his production? Where's his production? Where's his production? No, he was just waiting to stand. So he goes for 15 hatch, I think that was. So pulls way too many workers off the line though right here. I just want to point that out, guys. Uh, he had three. Let's just back that. Yeah, he grabs three workers. You don't want to do that. That's a waste. I only have one at most. Like, you know, whatever. And, uh, yeah, killing off this drone. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was sort of exciting and fun. If you look at the income tab, of course, I am a little bit ahead because... But I see him... I saw him do this. Uh, I saw him do this early expansion. And I didn't see any spawning pools. So I'm definitely very, very comfortable throwing down my early nexus. Uh, I'm not good at that timing at all, so don't try and use it as a build order. I totally sucked at it. Uh, but yeah. So my macro slipped a little bit in this game. But, you know, basically the big thing that I did in this game is I got screwed over quite a few times by some nice Nidus forms of his. And I just kept assuming that he's behind from spending all this money on Nidus worms. And apparently it was so or something because by the time I finally busted out of my base successfully, uh... Yeah, well, I ended up winning the game as I already spoiled that one. Sorry, guys. Spoilered. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really matter anyway, so. So, let's speed things back up as it is a little bit boring right now. Uh, I got one cannon and then I went for a gateway. Uh, finished my wall off with a pylon, which usually you won't do, but, you know, I misplaced that forge and didn't want to lose the minerals by canceling it just to reposition it, so, oh well. He's going for early roaches, I'm doing absolutely no scouting, which will bite me in the butt, I'm guaranteed. <laughs> if you look at the production tab, nothing too interesting happening yet, I'm just going down another gateway, and my cyber core. And really, why does it only show one, there we go, two probes in production, I was going to say, one is not good enough. If you look at the income tab now, I've, he's, no, I pulled way ahead, he's definitely slipped a little bit on his macro, I would say. Not much though, but he's definitely stuck a little bit. It's all that larva there he could have spent. Maybe he's saving up for roaches right now to try and do some sort of roach bust. No clue. But if we go back to the production tab, you can see I am working on my weapons level 1 now. I've got these two cannons here. I'm thinking that I should be safe, even though if he came out with roaches, I'm probably screwed. <laughs> I'm getting out a couple centuries so right away. As safe as possible. And there it comes, Nidus Worm and a Hydralis Den at the exact same time. And, no, he just let his macro slip. He was not saving up all those larvae for roaches. So, yeah. And now he's got the Hydra, so definitely let his macro slip. Of course, ugh, yeah. Yeah, I don't notice this Nidus. No. But that's not very cool how that happens. <laughs> As you can see, though, I just go for killing the Nidus Worm off first to prevent the importance. Uh, running away my workers now. I notice how I'm trying to, I'm building units down there. Well, I want to group everything up. And of course, once again, want to kill that Nidus from off. Finally say, screw it, gotta send the probes in. So that's what I'm doing. As you can see, uh, my harvester count is moving fast, but I'm still rebuilding the whole time. And of course, you know, he's really not, he's just focusing up lot on this raft, so definitely that worked out well for me, he's not focusing on any sort of macro. Yeah, moving around, constantly trying to find them because, and of course, now I'm getting void rays, I'm like, screw this, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go void rays into boss, I decided to go starport first, don't ask me why, I just did. And now you can see, 
starting to sort of try and see more of my base ones. I hear this Nidus Worm didn't realize it was down there, but I realized it wasn't in my base, so I went to defend my front, because I was like, well, I hear Nidus. So. Here they come, but of course he's got a Nidus building in my base at the same time. So I see there's no hydras there, so I just send my boy ray in. And these probes, my reaction time sucks. It absolutely freaking sucks. Oh wait, it doesn't exist. So either way, as you can see, now I'm taking a big hit, but he really hasn't been macroing this whole time. Any field workers, that's the big thing that's been able to keep me from dying. And this. Army! Army! No! Yeah, my army didn't get up there. Reaction time a lot better that time with the probe. Gotta keep them alive. Should have just sent them to mine at this stage. Oh well. And should be able to clean this up. Yes, I do. If you look at the units lost tab, I'm actually doing better than him because he's losing a lot of units because my void rays are doing quite a bit. The zealots are really strong on the ground. But definitely the void rays are helping and just these nidus. Uh, he's a lot every time, I think. I don't know if you can even cancel him. I think you can, but yeah, he loses 100 100, so you know, not the best for him. If we look at the income tab, you can see I've already caught up. Well, almost caught up. Even though if we look at. Oh, um, can't do. Yeah, where is units. Units killed. Control R. If we look at the workers killed. Oh my god, I've lost 43 workers. So that's been sort of brutal. Oh, I'm trying to do. Oh man, that was. I just want to show you guys this one again. Yeah, that wasn't the best. Let's go back one more time. Back one more time. Okay, so workers killed. I've already lost tons, but I've been pumped them out, so I'm really not that far behind, as you can see. I think my void rays over the high ground, but somehow he has vision of that high ground? Or were they not on high ground? I'm so confused. Nope, they're on high ground. And there's hacks going on. Unless maybe they weren't shooting at them when they were on the high ground. Slow that down and see, guys. Okay, let's go. His vision. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, come on! What the hell? How is that not high ground, Blizzard? Oh my God, Blizzard! I hate you, Blizzard. Oh, he's got the watchtower. That's how he did it. Never mind. Okay, he's got the watchtower, he didn't realize that. Forgot about that. Using the force fields to keep him away from my void rays, drawing void rays away, because really those I need to keep alive the most. Right now I actually just went back to my base the macro. That's why my army's not doing anything, and then on the mini-map I noticed that, oh crap, I'm getting slaughtered, so I withdraw my army back here. But I was working on macro. As you can see, he's really, really not doing macro. He would have completely dominated and won this game if he had... Uh, macroed better because really he had the resources to do it most of the time, especially earlier on in the game. He always had a few hundred minerals sitting around doing nothing. There I go, he's finally expanding. I got my Robo Bay. I'm going to get out. Uh, ah, whatever. I'm building excess cannons right now. Defend against the Tentonitis. I killed me a four and one zealot. There comes the second. Of course, I'm a little worried that my front might get attacked at the same time. But, you know. My hotkeys and macro is the best, and thank god he didn't attack there. <laughs> so I send one lonely void ray to defend the front. He's gonna get slaughtered. Four void rays! Ooh. At least I do have three void rays left alive. Get off some force fields that I didn't think they worked at first, but they totally did. I just attacked it through. Totally paid off. Uh, that one didn't because I didn't have a second force field. I've been getting some warping. Yeah, those could have come a little sooner. But look at the income tab, though. Income tab, though. He's still sucking on the macro, so that's really. I gotta. I gotta say that's the main reason why I won. Of course, my unit composition and I guess micro. I don't know. Something about the way I'm kind of advantage or something. I'm definitely staying ahead in the unit cost. I'm, you know, taking advantage the best I can of saving. I don't know. So there we go, first Colossi starting to come out, extended Thermal Lance coming out, uh, you know, so getting all those important things against the Zerg player, and who's not going Mutalith, but I haven't been scouting him, so I really don't know. If he tech switched to Mutalith and brought out like 10 at once, I would have been absolutely effed. Absolutely effed. Even though I have the Stargate, I have, you know, Void Rays out, they're not the best against Mutalith. I mean, it's 
contaminated one of my buildings for fun, I guess. So as you can see, I'm just being cautious how quickly I poke forward. Because uh, I do want to check for his bases. I thought he would have had up and running bases already. You know, so it's definitely a little worried. And this might become a bad situation for me. Find out. Two clutch force fields, but not quite clutch enough. And of course, moving my void rate back. And thank God the Hydralis, not my turn, then started my void rate. Made a huge difference in this battle for me. As only anti air is gone. No matter how many groups you got, baby, I'll kill them all. As you can see, stupid stalker is still trying to shoot that larva. Uh, my macro is slipping a little bit here, for certain, but, you know, building some phoenixes now because I don't want to get nighted again, so I've got one patrolling. I'm going to have a second patrol, even though I'm going to use this to gesture if you ask me. Going for the third, though, because I do know I need to expand, need to get more economy. That's always very important. As you can see, I actually drew ahead in that confrontation, mostly because those force fields and the positioning. Uh, he's really not engaging in good spots. So if you're a Zerg player, you can definitely learn a couple things from his mistakes. His lack of macro is quite upsetting, I would to say the least. Uh, absolutely no upgrades on his units. If we look at the income tab, he still has almost no workers. I'm now up to one and one with one attack from my air. He does get lucky here, though. I thought he saw the... Maybe... I don't know. Yeah, maybe so. I don't know. So you just get lucky here coming to this base. I think about cancelling that, but I say nope. You know, my army can get there in time to save it. Definitely worth it. So, yeah, run away as many folks as I can, try and keep the base. My army does get there just in time. The food race going down, though. That's not cool. Uh, and that one just barely hangs on, so I throw it away. I didn't need to at that point. I everything away a little bit. So, I don't know. Maybe my army. Either way, just barely managed to hold on there. Those reinforcements stream me in just a little too late. And yeah, out of the Zerg player, if you can see, his, you know, he just doesn't have much money to spend because he doesn't have enough workers. Uh, you know, he just doesn't have enough workers mining. He's not efficiently mining from his bases. You know, I've denied him that expansion there. He didn't expand earlier when he had me contained in the base, which is what he should have done. Definitely a lot of little things like that make mistakes. Uh, Definitely could have considered a tech switch, you know, into, into as I said, you know, Mutilus definitely would have wrecked the number on me if he had just saved up enough to get like eight Mutilus out. As we can see though, his poor, poor overlord wants to scout our overseer, but I will push it away with my void ray because I am not awesome. And now finally thinking about scouting and getting map control. Uh, now that I feel like I've stabilized having this third base finally up, even though this one's no longer mining, and having a couple cloths, I have definitely make a big difference here. Uh, absolutely no micro here. There we go. Find it a little bit. I guess I just want to pay attention. Overuse of the force fields. Definitely not the best thing to do. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> no. As it is, you now I don't really have much energy. And the other thing is finally working on a proxy pylon, even though I don't really end up using it. I definitely need to get one, you know, I definitely should have thought of that earlier. And taking out that base, I saw it with that observer. I sent an observer just running around checking for bases, and then told him to park out somewhere in space. And of course, this poor cloth side. Oh my god, high ground, high ground, high ground. Yes, he doesn't have control of the watchtower. So, and for some reason he decides, I'm going to stop and attack this pylon. And then he over micros like that stutter stutter. And I start warping in some stalkers there. Because, well, I don't know. I don't have many stalkers in my army. I don't know. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so that's pretty much the game one there. Uh, I would say that was pretty boring to watch. Uh, if you're a Zerg player, though, you might be able to take something out of this, especially if you're at his skill level. He really, really, really didn't macro earlier in the game. He should have been building more workers. He had minerals and he had larva be able to build them and he didn't you know he could have and he just didn't that's one thing he really really messed up was just not building enough early in the game uh his no upgrades at all still none at all so that's a massive massive mistake i've got two attacks on armor and i've been slow on my upgrades the other thing too is no no late game tech like Hydra is pretty darn good 
really so far into the game. Roach Hydra against Colossi and Sentries equals instant death. Like, you just can't. Once once there's a few Colossi out on the board, the board feels to split up the army quite effectively, but there's nothing Roach Hydra can do to win. So he definitely should have used the tech switch there. Would have helped him quite a bit. Use a tech switch. Those upgrades definitely would have been important, but macro was his biggest weakness. And also over committing to that Nidus play. That Nidus play was cool. It did some serious damage. It kept me contained in my base that much longer. But he over committed. He let me kill off a lot of Nidus farms for free. Uh, he, too late into the game, he was doing it. You know, he was just spending too much minerals. He should have been expanding while I was in my base. Had a map presence out front of my ramp. Uh, just dropped few less nitus, but you know, still could have done a couple here or there just to keep me on my toes. And really, he would have won that game. He should have won that game. And that's why I wanted to review it, sort of see what went on, why he lost, and why I won. So, as I would say, you know, it helped a little bit that I was very good at, you know, just saying, you know, he has to spend a lot of money to keep up these attacks, so I'm not necessarily that far behind. I did end up losing way too many workers, though, but I kept building them being one of the important things. If we look at the workers killed, 47 in total for the whole game. So you can definitely see, uh, yeah, not the best. But there you guys go. Hopefully somebody can draw something useful out of this, learn something, because that's the whole point. Have fun playing and keep practicing.